Thank you. Thanks. I'm really excited to be here. And I know that each and every one of you has an inspiring story that can change all of our lives. And I hope that we hear from all of you at one time. You take the opportunity to work with Bridget and Women Talk. You know, I've had the opportunity to travel and live around the world, and it never ceases to amaze me that some of the most interesting and inspiring people that I meet are my neighbors that live right next door. And uh, sometimes I bring them along with me. Well, I, I think I have some right here. Just hold on. Just last night, we were spending a lot of time together, me and my little neighbor friend, Casey. Come on out, Casey. Come on. Come on out. Oh, hi. Can, can, we, can we spend some time looking at the stars tonight? We can. We can. I mean, look, there's amazing stars out tonight. Take a look. Wow. Oh, there really is amazing stars. Each and every single one of them is so incredible, so unique. Oh, oh hey. Hi, Big Dipper. It's me, Casey. <laughs> hi. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Can you see that really bright star? I do see it. Well, that means that when it's really bright like that, that it's a very hot star. Yeah, hot stars are white or blue. Oh, or over there. Like, like that one, it's kind of red or, or orange. That means it's a cool star. Did you know that? I didn't. I know so much. <laughs> oh, look, a falling star, a falling star, a falling star. Casey, what? A falling star. Casey, what? Wish upon a falling star. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Wish upon a falling star. I wish upon a falling star. I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish. I wish. What do I wish for? <laughs> what do I wish for? What do I I got it. Good. Well, whatever you do, don't ask me what I wished for. Don't ask me. Okay. Don't ask me what I wished for. Don't ask me what I wished for. Don't. Don't ask me what I wished for. I, I won't. Okay, see, okay, tell me, what did you wish for? Come on, you, you can share it. Really? You can. Well, okay. Okay, I guess I'll share it. Well. I wished I could spend more time with my friend Granny. She, she's really, really busy lately and she has no time for me and I really miss her. And I have a very, very important question to ask her. Oh boy. Casey? Yeah? Maybe you can ask me the question and maybe I can help you out. You? Yeah. Oh. Okay. I, I get, is that okay? Okay, I get, okay, okay, okay. Well, it's a very personal question. It's okay. It's very, very personal. It's all right, I promise. Though, just between you and me, okay? Okay, very personal. Well, you know, you, as you probably noticed, but I'm, I'm changing. I'm getting, uh, you know? Boobs, <laughs> little boobs, I am, I'm growing. Things are changing fast. I'm getting boobs. Oh boy, I'm real, and I, I'm afraid that I might be growing up. Oh, you are growing up, Casey. Yeah, but that's the problem. I don't want to grow up. I'm scared to grow up. I'm really, really scared to grow up. Why are you scared, Casey? Because I've seen what happens when you grow up. You don't have any fun anymore. No, no they don't. I've seen adults, they just get grumpy. <laughs> really grumpy, especially if they have big boobs. <laughs> oh, boy. And I don't want that to happen. I mean, I like being me. I really do. I mean, I like to be a princess. I like to fly jets. I like to be a knight in armor saving the princess. Oh. I mean, I can be anything when I'm me. I can be anything, do anything when I am KAC. Me. Yeah. I can play every day, have fun every way, do whatever I want any 
time of the day when I'm me. Who wants to grow up and be grumpy? <sighs> Casey. Yeah? You don't have to be grumpy and stop playing when you grow up. You don't? No, no, no. Some adults actually really do continue to play, and you should always play. You should? I should? I should always play? Yes. In fact, never please forget because it makes you so special. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> I am kind of fun to be with. Really fun. You'd have fun with me, Miss Hannah. We, we could go out in the woods and maybe write songs together. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? Yeah. Okay, well, that's good to know. Then I, I'm always going to play. I'll always be special. You will. And unique, just like every single star. Thank you. You're welcome. I think I better go to bed now. I got lots to plan for tomorrow. You do, you do. Well, thanks a lot for coming out and spending time, Casey. Oh, thank you. Thanks, thanks. You go back. Oh. You know, Casey's a really good reminder of all of our inner little child that we have in there. That little girl that always wants to come out and play. When I was 15, I loved playing with dolls. I would play with them under my covers so my boyfriend wouldn't see. <laughs> oh, not that he was in bed with me, no, not at all. <laughs> there. I remember my mother, I remember my mother coming into my room and just saying, Michelle, it's, you're, you're old. I mean, you really, come on, grow up. It's, it's time to stop playing with dolls. And I just remember feeling so sad. But I love it. I love playing with dolls. I really love it. I'm just so darn glad I never listened to my mother. <laughs> oh, which reminds me, we have another little friend here. Granny the neighbor that Casey was talking about. Well, I think she's right here. Come on out, Granny. Come on. Come say hi to our wonderful group. Come on. Come on, Grant. Come on. Oh, your glasses are all messed up there. Oh, dear. There, now that's much better. Come on. Oh, look at this audience. Hello, everyone. Granny. Say hi. Oh, I am. I'm saying hi. Can I hear hello, Granny? Oh, that's not bad. One more time. Hello, Granny! Hello, Granny! Oh, not... Hold on a second. I see a man out there. <laughs> you never told me there was going to be men in the audience. Well, I know. I, I, I didn't know. Oh, thy, I'm so happy you're here. <laughs> Good to see you. You're kind of cute. <laughs> granny, Granny, come on. I mean, that, that's enough. I, I really would like to talk to you. Oh, I know you'd like to, dear, but I'm really busy. I, I only, in fact, I have to go right now. I gotta check my email. No, no, you can't go right away. No, I have to. I have to check my text. I have to check the Facebook. What's going on, Granny? Why are you so busy? <laughs> Why am I so busy? Well, I'll tell you. <clears throat> I've uh, got a boyfriend. I do. Where did you meet him? Online. Harmony.ca. <laughs> His name is Fred, and he is hot, 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 hot. <laughs> wow. Yes, and we are doing it. We're doing it on Facebook. We're doing it on email. We're doing it on Twitter. We are doing it. Woo! So I gotta go. I gotta go check my Twitter account right now. Bye bye. No, 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 no. You can't go yet, Granny. Oh boy. I know you are very, very busy. I am. I have a boyfriend. I know. But I was wondering. I know you know you're doing it. But are you? I mean, have you actually gone on a date? What? Have you gone on a date? I mean, have you actually seen Fred in the flesh? The flesh. Oh my gosh. I hadn't thought of that. The flesh. Oh. oh, just thinking about it gives me quivers. Fred in the flesh. I guess I should really go on a date, shouldn't I? You should, Granny. You should really see what he really is like in person, not just on social media. I wonder if he'll like these girls. <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure that he will. I'm sure he will. You should really plan a date. I should plan a date. 
Uh oh. What's the matter? Uh oh. Granny, what's going on? Well, well, I'm not wearing underwear today. <laughs> no, I'm not wearing underwear today. Not that you really care much about my underwear. Still, nonetheless, I've got to say, I'm not wearing underwear today. Oh dear, well that, that, that's not good, Granny. I think you need to have some underwear on if you want to go on a date. Oh, I sure do. Well, for a little while anyway. Oh, Granny, <laughs> Granny. Oh, sorry, sorry, dear, sorry. Now, what do you like to do? What might you and Fred do? Well, let me see, we could go for a walk. That'd be good. We, we could go for ice cream. That'd be really good. We could, let me see. We could dance. We could dance. I think dancing would be really fun, Granny. Oh, so do I. I bet he can really move it. Move it, move it. I can see it now. <laughs> oh, boy. Granny, I, you know, before you, you go on your date, yes, I, I want to just, you know, remind you if you can make time to see Casey. Could you do that? Oh, dear, I could do that. I've gotten so busy with that email and text and Twitter. Yes, I promise. I will see Casey and we'll go to the zoo. Mean meanwhile, um, I'm thinking about that date. Oh, oh, it's going to be great, great, great. Well, light the lights, hit the heights, cause we're going to have a great time tonight. Starting here, starting now, Freddy, everything's coming up. Granny, look at me, you will see Fred. Granny's anything, anything but dead. <laughs> starting here, starting now. Freddy, everything's coming up. Everything's coming up. You know what I mean, dear? You there. Everything's coming up. <laughs> everything's coming up. Freddy, for Granny, that's it. Oh, I'm about to go. I really do now. I know. You're very busy. I'm very busy. I know, Granny, I know. Go on. Oh, have fun on your date with Fred. Oh, my gosh. But doesn't that happen these days? Sometimes we get so busy with stuff that we actually don't spend real personal time with people, with our children and with our family and our friends. I even find myself so much often on those machines, and I forget how important it is to be in the moment, to remember to play, to remember to be present to one another. And I had the wonderful opportunity that I want to just finish tonight with sharing with. Is last year, last March, I spent a lot of time with a, a woman in her last six months of life. And I had an opportunity while she was in hospice to, to bring Granny in for a visit. And when was very, very sick, she would die the next day. But that day when we went in, even though she was so ill, her eyes just lit up. She saw Granny and she got so excited. And with whatever energy she had left, she, I got Granny beside her and she began to stroke her hair. And she began to cuddle with her. And she said, oh, I just, I really want her to stay. And I knew in that moment that that little girl that is, or little boy that is inside all of us is there until our last precious moments. And that little person is calling out to you all the time to play. And I hope that you're listening. And then you think about what that little person is asking you to do. And you enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.